quickly run you through um, a tool um, that will enumerate Active Directory from a from a Zscale private access connector. Uh, it does a couple of things. Um, it's uh, not the best bit of Python, but but here we go. Um, it does a DNS server lookup, um, and it looks up for the uh, you provide a domain, and it'll look up LDAP uh, TCP domain.com uh, doing a DNS SRV lookup, uh, which will return a list of the domain controllers. It'll then try a, a UDP 389 connection to each domain controller in in turn, and query for the net log on service. So it's just kind of um, behaving a bit like a Windows client and how Windows clients enumerates the domain. Um, and the reason we're doing this is we want to check that the connector is correctly defined in the right Active Directory site, number one. Uh, we want to understand the Active Directory sites that the domain controllers are in, number two. Um, and, and number three, we're also checking for the reachability of that UDP connection. So there's a, there's a short timeout window for each of those, and then we'll we'll query each of those domain controllers in turn. So we can check, you know, if the active uh, if the connector is deployed uh, on a DMZ or something, and is there connectivity through um, to the domain controller. Um, so a couple of things. Uh, the script requires pip. The reason it requires pip is because we're going to install a couple of pip modules. So a couple of prerequisites: install pip, um, and then install these modules, and then we'll uh, run through the script that will uh, build an LDAP query um, and connect to them and then uh, parse that query and export um, the DNS SRB record that we queried, what the forest was, what the domain was, the host name, uh, NetBIOS names and everything, and uh, the sites that the user is in. So um, there we go. So let's do, let's do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is SCP um, the, the Python files um, over across to our Connector 192.168.1.31. Uh, um, no such file or directory. Oh, I know. Give it a directory. Uh, and then, so SSH 192.168.1.31. Uh, admin out 192.168.1.31. And then there's our files. Um, CLDAP.py is the is the script. LDAP is the the modules that kind of define um, uh, how an LDAP connection should look. Um, and this is executable. So um, we just need to come over to our uh, um, script here. Um, and the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to curl that. We're then going to run the the Python installer script. Uh, it was already installed, but it's uh, gone and correctly reinstalled it. And then we're going to install these couple of modules. And then we can go uh, cldap.py and we'll run against the welshkeep.net, my domain. Um, and it goes off and it did the DNS SRV lookup. And it said, there's my, there's my hope, there's my uh, response. Here's my Active Directory forest is welshgeek.net. The domain is welshgeek.net as well. And the domain controller we're connecting to uh, returned, yes, I am dc2.welshgeek.net. It then returned the, the net BIOS name is welshgeek, so the short name of the domain. Um, and the domain controller short name is dc2. Um, we're effectively seen as roots because we just did a CLDAP um, query you know, that we didn't bind as a, a specific user. And we know that the, the server is in the Active Directory site called England, and so is the client. The connector is in England. So uh, it worked really well. Um, let's go ahead and look at what this looks like in um, uh, AWS. So here's my AWS host. And so we're going to um, SCP. Um, minus i uh, tilde slash uh, dot ssh uh, ryan dot pem uh, start up py over to uh, admin at colon slash tmp good luck I'll copy that file up there we go um, and now we can ssh minus i Uh, 
Okay, so we want to run um, the same command. So let's go to temp. We'll um, download curl. Uh, download curl. We'll use curl to get, get the get pip. We'll install the pip module. Okay, we'll install these other modules into pip. Okay, so now we should be able to run um, this .net. and here we can see that it, um, it it returned a result. I got a server lookup, but the actual response was for um, aws onewelshgeeknet which is a dummy dummy answer in some respects. Um, but here in the background, it's trying to um, it's trying to do that LDAP query. It should have timed out already. I um, need to look into a bit of the debug code on that. Um, but um, yeah, it should have timed out, um, and, and at the timeout, it would have um, it would have then uh, uh, moved on to the next one. So we need to to look at some of the the timeout um, code in here. It's uh, uh, it should have uh, should have gone to, to two seconds. For some reason, it's failed. Um, but uh, but essentially, this this showed that it couldn't connect to a domain controller uh, because it wasn't available. Um, so in the end, it's worth looking at um, understanding um, how Active Directory inter interacts with the connectors, both in terms of the AD sites um, that the connectors in, the AD site that the domain controllers are in, the DNS SRV lookups, the UDP connectivity to each of those uh, to make sure that the the connection is working. Uh, and therefore, um, ZPA and the connectors are functioning in the way um, you'd expect. Um, hope this helps.